What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a webcam in OBS. <laughs> Now, just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So, OBS is open up right here, and I'm actually using OBS to record my screen right now, so that is why it looks a bit funky. But, let's get into it. In the last video of OBS, it was getting started with OBS, and I showed you the basics of it. And I couldn't add a webcam because I didn't have a webcam, but I have a laptop now, and of course I have a webcam attached to it, so I'm going to be showing you how to add it and some effects you can do with your webcam. So it is going to be under sources and you're going to press this plus button right here and you're going to head over to video capture device. Now you can call this whatever you want to, so maybe face cam and just select enter. And as you can see, my webcam is up right here, but if it isn't, then under device, it should be here. Now I know for my laptop, it's an MSI laptop, so I had to manually turn on the webcam. And the way I done that, it was FN and F6. So if you have a laptop or you have a webcam, just make sure it's turned on before. So then it does show up over here. So if you come down, you can configure the video. You don't really need to, but we can change the resolution and FPS type. Now I have mine set to device default and there's a reason for that. I think it is better setting it to the device default because you're going to get the most out of it and it won't come out blurry or laggy. So stay with the device default, or you can come to custom, and of course you can get these ones right here. But again, device default, best for you, I think, or I believe. And we're going to come down, you can change the color space, the color range, completely up to you. Again, you don't need to, as well as the buffering. The audio output mode, you can have capture audio only, or you can have the desktop audio, completely up to you which one you want. And from there you can select OK. Our webcam is here, but it's huge. So we need to position it. So drag onto the corners and position it into a place where you want it. So I'm going to drag it out to a size I want, which is probably like here. And now we position it. So we just drag it around wherever we want to. Now it does actually lock on or snaps to the corners, as you can see. So it's up to you where you actually want it. So maybe just here, maybe at the corner, completely up to you. Depends what video you're recording, really. And if you actually don't see your face cam after adding it, then make sure you come to sources and make sure the face cam is above the display capture. And that way it should be showing up. Now you can add some filters to this. So if you right click and select filters, as you can see, we have audio video filters. And this is what we are presented with the gain, the video delay, a noise suppression and a noise gate. Now you don't really need to do any of these if you have a microphone, because of course, the uh, noise suppression and noise gate won't be useful because you're going to be using the microphone instead. But as for the effect filters, you can actually change a lot of things. So for those that have a green screen or a blue screen or whatever you may have in the background, which is just one color, you can select chroma key and this will remove that background. So it's very useful. You can also sharpen it, color key, scroll, scaling, aspect ratio, color correction, crop and image mask. Now, the three main ones I would use, or I recommend to use, is maybe color correction if you actually need it, crop and pad if you want to use it as a square face cam, and chroma key if you actually have a green screen or a blue screen. So for the crop and pad, you can call this whatever you want to, it's actually very simple. So I'm going to put 125 from the left, and I'm going to put 125 from the right, and I'm going to put uh, 125 from the top. And it's created a square face cam. So if I close out of this, as you can see, my face cam is now square. And the way I done that, I just kept all the corners in proportion. Just like that, very simple. And I can right click, come back to the uh, filters. And if I, if I don't like it, I can select it and select this minus button. Select yes, and it's back to normal. Now, the effects do change right in front of you. So if I select color correction right now and select OK, as you can see, if I uh, put the contrast up, it changes live in front of you. So you can see what you're actually working with and it's all going to preview right in front of you. So completely up to you how you want to do this. I may actually make a video, um, the best color corrector, uh, best color corrector for you using this right here. Completely up to you if you want that as well. 
And that is the basics. That is how easy it is to add a face cam in OBS. If you want to add a face cam border, then you do need to make that elsewhere. So maybe using Pixlr, which is a free online photo editor or things where you can create, or of course, Photoshop if you have it. Then from there, you need to add it as an image and make sure it's saved as a PNG, drag it, position it, and then make sure the face cam is underneath it. So then it's behind the box. Very simple, and I will have a tutorial out on that soon because I know what I just said probably didn't make any sense. Anyway, that's it for this video. As you can see, it is very easy to add your face cam in OBS. And like I mentioned, I will be having more tutorials out helping you with face cam as well as the OBS. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.